Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my little corner where today we're gonna check out a wig. I have been so wig curious lately. I actually have one wig that is a human hair synthetic hair blend that I wasn't too crazy about. So when Lily Hair reached out to me to see if I would review one of their wigs, I was like, oh yeah. One of the reasons why I was so excited is that they are very affordable. For human hair wigs, they are outrageously affordable. I feel like as I get older and my hair thins out more, it's gonna move from my extension obsession to a wig obsession. So why not learn a little bit early? Um, I actually got to watch a few review videos of this wig as well. And one of the things that I thought was really cool is that the girl had done no glue situation whatsoever and this wig stayed on throughout her like head banging. Lily Hair offers affordable uh, wigs as well as the hair toppers and extensions. I'm also very curious about hair toppers because I feel like my hair thins out more at the top than it does at the bottom. So that might be kind of cool to try later on. But for today, we are gonna try their Dark Tone Amy Human Hair Pixie Wig. And I am so excited to try this on. It's going to be a completely different look for me. Obviously, I always go blonde and long. I do have hand tied extensions in now, but what I did was after I got out of the shower, I just went ahead and braided it. And now, before I put a wig cap on, I'm going to um, just bobby pin this bad boy, these bad boys up. She's up. Now, let's go ahead and get this side up. I'm going to do the same thing with it, which is basically just taking the braids and folding them in half. I'm trying to like spread them out to where the braids aren't on top of each other and then bobby pinning them in. Okay, I feel like that is secure before I go ahead and throw a wig cap on. Let's check out the wig that Lily Hair sent me. First off, how gorgeous is their packaging? It's this box that is ombre from like a blue all the way to purple. It looks absolutely gorgeous and it says, Lily Hair, we live only to discover beauty. All else is a form of waiting. Okay, let's check out what, I have not opened the box. This is like the farthest I've gotten. So let's go ahead, is it a whole box situation? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Give me my wig. Oh, how pretty, the inner box is pink. <laughs> I love that combo, it is so gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna be reusing this box. And then inside the box, it looks like we got a little tangle teaser, a little brush. Let's go ahead and check that out. Now, obviously I won't be using this on my hair today. I'll be using this on the wig. Oh, I love that. I love the shape of it. Fits right in your hand. The bristles look perfect for like extensions or wigs. So this will be really nice to have. The cover on it is gold and gorgeous and reflective. I absolutely love this. And this was just thrown in as extra, so I appreciate that. And then inside the box, we also have this bag that has, I'm assuming, our wig in it. It is so cute. It's a satin bag, so it'll keep our hair in really good condition. And it's really nice to have something to store your wigs and your extensions in when you get them, so I can really appreciate that. Maybe one day I'll even get like a wig stand, but for now, this will be nice to have. And inside the bag, oh my god, it's so dark. Oh my lord. I just wanted a different look for me. I feel like I constantly have blonde hair, and I just thought this would be really, really fun to try out. So it's super dark. We're going to pull it out. We're going to check her out. I don't know why I have to smell the wig, but it really doesn't have a scent to it at all, which I can appreciate. Oh my gosh, look at that scalp. <gasps> It looks like somebody's scalp. That is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna take her little hair net off. Oh, it's pretty. It is so pretty. It's such a mix, like a beautiful mix of almost like a golden brown and then dark tones in there as well. Okay, let's take out our tissue. And on the inside, let's flip her inside out real quick so we can see how she's set up. So if you're a girl that is not like the normal clips that come in wigs, you're gonna love this because it's got this silicone band here that's not gonna let it slide past your uh, forehead, like hairline. <laughs> and then on the back, it has these adjustable straps that are basically like little bra hooks and you can pull it to wherever you need. Now I have a, I guess, normal sized head. So I'm gonna go in on the one, two, third little hook on either side and we'll see if like I need to pull it out more. But that is really cool. From what I could see, 
in the videos that I watched, it stays on really well with that. This is so cute. <laughs> what I want to do, I think, because you guys know, I'm like the sp spiral curl queen. Like, I love a spiral curl. Um, my mother-in-law has really short hair like this. And when I spiral curled her hair, it made me wish I had short hair because it looks so cute. But she does have bangs, so I don't know. We may just leave her alone. We'll have to see once we get her on. Okay, let me get a wig cut. Basically what this does is it'll make sure that none of my natural and or hand tied extensions pop out um, from the wig. So it'll just keep everything in place. Basically it looks like a miniature pantyhose for your head. Here we go. Let's try and put this bad boy on. I just love the thought of wigs too. Like all, any girl that has straight hair wants curly hair and a girl that has short hair wants long hair <laughs> any girl or at least me when i get short hair i want long hair when i get long hair i want to have a short hair day and i just feel like wigs can do that for you like you can change your look daily without having to worry about your own natural hair i've seen so many girls that have issues with hair thinning alopecia and wigs have just been a game changer for them and their confidence so now we have our wig cap on I am ready. I hope I didn't tighten this up too tight. If I did, we'll just go at it again. Here we go. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I am. I'm so excited. Okay, so get the grippy part in the front where the bangs are. And I think the best way to do it is start at the back and pull it forward from what I've seen. Oh, wow. That does fit very snugly. Snugly. <laughs> okay yep yep too tight too tight <laughs> all right that was definitely too tight we're gonna try this again I'm gonna move it to the second one on both sides which should give us a lot more room it's really easy to move but then once it was on my head it was staying where it needed to be so love this little clip system all right, let's try this again. Here we go, now that we've got it adjusted. Got the back, get those bangs down. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God, like this kind of makes me want to cut my hair off and dye it. It really does. I've had brown hair before and almost every time I go brown, it's like a couple months and then I want to go back to blonde. But I am kind of loving this. I've always wanted to do a pixie cut. I've just never had the galls to do it. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I'm kind of digging it. Oh my gosh. It's really like the hair. It. I've never put on a wig and it look good right away. And this actually does. Does it need a little loving? Yes, I agree. It needs a little bit of loving, but for the most part, like I feel like I could just throw some texture spray in this, style this just right, and she would be ready to go. Love like this cut. It's so cool. Like a cool kid. We are definitely curling this. I just gotta see what it looks like curled. And I wanna see like how it works with heat too. But I feel kinda cool. <laughs> I kinda dig this. If I ever need to go incognito, this could be it. Oh my God. I am kind of loving this, right? My little ears just barely poking out. Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I kind of want to see like what I can do with it when it's curled. Because like we've got a little bit of like oddness going on right here from where it was in the uh, box. But oh my god, I'm digging this. And look at that. Look at that hairline. Look, look at my scalp. But that's not my scalp, but it kind of looks like my scalp. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and the hair itself is so smooth. It feels so good. I feel like I need a name for this wig. I mean, I know it's called Amy, but I feel like me in it, it needs a new name. I just unplugged my line. 
Okay, so this is the tiniest little wand that I have, and it's what I used on my mother-in-law when I curled her hair, so it should work. Because I feel like her hair is even shorter. Or was. So, we'll let that heat up for a minute. <laughs> when I think of a name. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I have to have a cool name with this wig. Look at that. Can you guys see the back of my head too? Like how cute is that to have like just my exposed neck? This is really making me want to cut my hair. I am digging it. I love the color on me. I really do. I really, really do. And I feel like I got it on really straight, really fast. It was very easy to put on. I don't feel my hair poking out anywhere. Okay, here we go. It is nice and hot. It's time to curl it. Um, when I did my mother-in-law's, I just kind of played around. So I would grab a piece, curl it, grab a piece, curl it, and see what else I needed to do. I'm a little nervous to curl her because she looks so cute this way. <laughs> what if I curl it and I don't like it? Oh, that's so cute. I guess I could always straighten it back out or wash it. Um, I've never washed a wig before. I'll have to look that up on YouTube. All right, let's give it a little, let's pick a spot and let's just go. Such a hard time with short hair trying to figure out where to start so I'm gonna do it like I do my own hair and just curl away and I'm really just gonna use the end of the wand I'm not gonna let it sit there too long because I don't really know how long it's gonna take to go not long at all <laughs> that curls so cute okay let's grab another piece Wow that curled so good I mean like what was that five seconds grab another piece just curl away. I'm wondering how I'm gonna do these bangs though. I may leave those to last. Just because I feel like they might be a little tricky tricky. I just curl those all this way. Cannot believe how easy this is curling. Like look at that. Okay. Try and clip this away so I can get to the hairs underneath it. This is too much fun. So while I'm curling this, I'm gonna go ahead and put a screen recording up for you guys so you can see all that Lily Hair has to offer throughout their hair toppers, extensions, wigs. They have some gorgeous, gorgeous long-haired wigs too that I'm really interested in. Um, but this is just so much fun. Like this little short one is so much fun. If you're looking for just something to change up your look, I feel like I could walk out in this people would think I cut my hair and dyed it. Okay, so we have this side all done. We're definitely gonna have to mess around and shape that. <laughs> I love it though, so much fun. Okay, let's keep going. It is so hard to curl the back of a wig. I feel like this would be much easier if I had a wig stand and um, could do it off of my head. It would be easier. If I had more patience and could do small sections like this, it would look so much cuter. I may have to go back in any pieces that are kind of sticking out because they didn't land the right way. Um, just recurl those in smaller sections. <sighs> hmm, I'm not sure if I like it, honestly, curled, um, but we'll see. I am definitely not the best at curling short hair. Um, it just kind of went in all different directions and now we're looking a little mad sciencey. So I'm wondering, can I pull a straightener out and straighten her back out? Now I definitely think with the right curling iron, a small enough barrel, I could have made that work, but it's just kind of going in all different directions. So let's see, can we fix what Karen just did? You see what I mean? Like the curls, just end at a weird point, which makes them stick out. Holy cow! <laughs> this thing just takes to heat. It really does. Like, look at that. Taking a curl back to straight. So fast, so easy. Which makes me really excited to try some of their other wigs because I feel like I could do more with longer hair. I put this wig through it, man. 
I put it through it today. I will say, giving it a little bit of a curl gave it a little extra volume. Not that you have to do that, but it did. I keep playing with it. I'm just so amazed at how I curled it and then I went back to straight. It still looks pretty good. Definitely could use a little bit of hair oil to just like maintain the flyaways that I created through playing with it, but I think it's so cute. I really do. I absolutely love it. Now I think it's time to get at least one of my boys in here to see their reaction. Hey Sam! Pop in some earrings really quick while I wait on my little man. Sorry, I started a new one. I cut my hair and I colored it. Yeah, yeah I did. I totally did. I just love I was like, I want to try having short brown hair and I did it all myself. Did I do a good job? You did not do it. I did. I totally did. What do you think? You did not do it, Mom. Uh, okay. It's totally brown and short. What is it then? Well, how did I get my hair dark and short then? Um, <laughs> he's got he's got ketchup on the side of his face from where he had corn dogs. Sam, do you like it though? Seriously? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> he's not sure about it. I love it, and I think the earrings just kind of make the hair pop as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video and checking out what Lily hair has to offer. I know I did. I feel like I'm going to be running around the house taking cute pictures in this hair today. I'm in love. If you guys are interested in checking out Lily hair, their information will be right down below in the description box. And I just want to say thank you guys for joining me, for playing with my hair, for having fun with me today. I really appreciate you. If you guys liked today's video, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And really quick, one of the things that I love doing on my channel is saying hello to my new subscribers. So hello, Rosie Ortiz Carrick, Mia Squires, Melissa Hawk, Jamie Engel, Dish with D, Katana, Tiffany Lopez 23, Elizabeth, Jessica Ludman, and Alyssa Ruiz. Ruiz? The sorry. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And I guess that's it, guys. I'm going to go take some pictures with my cute hair. But anyways, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you very, very soon. Till then, my loves. Bye.